Thank you very much, Mr. Chair and members. Presenting AB 2126, which simply increases Caltrans' existing authority to use the construction manager general contractor procurement method from six projects to 12. I know that this committee is very familiar with the particulars of the CMGC methodology, having supported similar legislation as recently as last week. The policy issues that relate to this bill were previously negotiated in Assemblymember Gordon's bill, AB 2498, four years ago. We are simply extending this authority. The six projects that Mr. Gordon's bill authorized have already been awarded. And through my conversations with Caltrans, it's clear that CMGC is working and will be a useful tool for future projects. As regions in the state continue to be plagued by crippling traffic congestion, it's important that we provide our transportation agencies with options to leverage funding and facilitate project implementation. AB 2126 will help in that effort, and I respectfully ask for an I vote, and I turn to my witness in support. Please state your name and who you represent, uh, Yes, please. Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, Dave Ackerman, representing the Associated General Contractors. We were in support of the prior legislation. We know it works and uh, urge uh, an I vote uh, on this measure. Thank you. Next speaker. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Keith Dunn, on behalf of the Self-Help Counties Coalition, uh, we have supported these efforts before by both the chairman and the vice chairman. I would just add that I think it's time that our local agencies, as well as the state of California, are given the opportunity to utilize alternative delivery uh, on projects that are appropriate for them. Continuing to do this in a piecemeal way, I think, doesn't make sense. I'm hopeful that at some point we will come in and just grant them that authority, although I do appreciate every opportunity to be before this committee. I think that we could resolve this issue and just give our locals and the state the opportunity to, to build the projects as they see fit. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker. Do you have any are you in support, sir? Please yes. step to the mic. Mitch Weiss with the California Transportation Commission in support of the bill. Thank you. Any other members of the public that would like to testify in support? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Matt Robinson on behalf of the San Mateo City County Association of Governments. Uh, this bill is extremely important to a project that we're doing on the 101 down there in order to increase capacity on that freeway through the use of HOV lanes. I uh, just want to thank Mr. Mullen for his effort in this regard. Any other members of the public that would like to testify in support of the author's bill? Seeing none, any members of the public that would like to speak in opposition to the author's bill? Seeing none, any questions of the committee of the author? Mr. Mullen, would you like to close? Respectfully ask for that vote. Thank you, Mr. Mullen. We do have a first um, by Assemblymember Linder and a second by Assemblymember Dodd. Um, Mr. Mullen, I am, as I said last week on Mr. Chu's bill, I am a big fan of CMGC. And I hope this helps your district uh, address the gnarly, gnarly Highway 101 uh, problems you've been fighting so hard to resolve. And I have to commend you. You are a absolute advocate for your um, passion for one, the 101. I want to wish you the best of luck on this. And uh, with that, I will be... Uh, Supporting with an I vote. Madam Secretary, call the roll. Thank you, the motion is due pass to the Assembly Appropriations Committee. Frazier? Aye. Frazier, aye. Linder? Aye. Linder, aye. Baker? Aye. Baker, aye. Bloom? Brown? Chu? Aye. Chu, aye. Daly? Aye. Daly, aye. Dodd? Aye. Dodd, aye. Eduardo Garcia? Aye. Eduardo Garcia, aye. Gomez? Kim? <coughs> Mathis? Aye. Mathis, aye. Medina? Medina, aye. Melendez? Melendez, aye. Nazarian? Aye. Nazarian, aye. O'Donnell? Aye, Mr. Chair. O'Donnell, aye. Thank you, aye. Mr. Chair. Ms. Kim? Oh, Kim, aye. That has 13 votes. We'll leave the roll open for the absent members. Mr. Cooper, please. Come on, up, come on up to the uh, podium, and we're going to be addressing 1965. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Members, AB 1965 seeks to expand the successful EFMP Plus Up program to help low-income individuals retire their old, dirty vehicles and replace them with cleaner, more reliable vehicles. Currently, the Plus Up program operates in only two air districts, classified as extreme non-attainment. 
The pro this program provides additional down payment incentives to encourage the retirement and replacement of older, less efficient vehicles with advanced technology and cleaner vehicles. With these stacked incentive payments, low-income individuals can receive between $4,000 and $9,500 toward a replacement vehicle, depending on the make and model. Additionally, the bill requires outreach to low-income households and disadvantaged communities to ensure that the plus-up program is accessible to the neediest Californians. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Mr. Kapoor, you have witnesses in support? Yes, I do. Please pre present. Chair, members, thank you. I'm Tom Knox with Valley Clean Air now. Uh, I want to cede my time to one of our customers, Jerome Mayfield, uh, to speak more about the program. Hi. Please state your name. Um, my name is Jerome Mayfield, members. Um, I'm from Stockton, California, hmm. and I have the opportunity to, um, to go to the program where um, I found this flyer, and the flyer said that they were going to give you $500 to fix your car, and I had this old truck, a uh, 1987, um, 1987 um, Silverado. It wouldn't pass small. Um, it had, um, it had um, check engine light was on and everything, so I saw the um, I saw the, the flyer. I went to the fairground. I went to the fairground. We had the pro. I went to the program. They said that the truck didn't pass the small. So what happened was they told me to go to a um, certain booth. And then when I went to the booth, they said they would retire the truck for me. So they said they would give me four thousand dollars towards the down payment of a regular car, seven thousand dollars, seven thousand five hundred towards the down payment of a um, of a hybrid, and nine thousand five hundred dollars towards the down payment of an electric car. So when I checked out the cars, I found out that the, um, the, the $4,000 cars, I was still over eight, dollars $9,000. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want no payment like that. So then I saw the, um, the other car, $7,500, I still were owe $9,000. But when I saw the Leaf, I have an electric car. And, and that electric car, it was $9,500. They gave me $9,500, and it was $12,900. So they told me that my payment would only be $60 a month. I could pick up enough cans to get that. So um, what happened was I ended up getting the leaf. And when I plug it up, it charges like a cell phone. I haven't bought gas for seven months. And so it's helping me because I'm, um, I'm from a low-income family. I don't, have, I don't have that much money each month. And so now I don't have to buy gas. And my PG&E bill is, is, is good. So I, that's just my testimony on how I came about to get the electric leaf. Thank you. Thank you. Also saw your video. You're very compelling in it also. So uh, any members of the public, please state your name. and. Ye yes, Mr. Chairman and members, you thank you. Brendan Tuig on behalf of the Sacramento Metropolitan Air Quality Management District in support. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any other members of the public that would like to testify in support of the author's bill? Seeing none, any members of the public that would like to testify in opposition to the author's bill? Any members of the committee that have questions of the author? Ms. Baker, please. Super quick. Thank you for your uh, very good testimony. We, we don't often get to hear of a real life testimonial. Uh, we hear from a lot of folks who are represented here, but uh, I appreciate it. Was the older vehicle that you were that you took in to replace? Were you otherwise driving that on a daily basis? Yeah, I, ha okay. I had to drive it because I didn't have no other car to drive. Okay. I mean, the tags were were late, but I still had to drive that truck. So when I found out that they were um, they were giving five hundred dollars to fix that truck, I rushed up there, and I'm telling you, the line was from Charterway to the airport. I'm talking about that's like a five mile line, and when they opened the gate, everybody got in. And I finally got there, and they, when they told me they was going to retire that truck, and I didn't believe they were going to give me 9500 I didn't believe it until, until I saw Veronica. That's her name. She had a check, a $9,500 yeah, check with my name on it. Thank you. <laughs> Just, okay, Just we're comment. good. Mr. I don't think Rod Mr. Cooper carries this without you, seriously. Thank you. <laughs> True. So, uh, Mr. Cooper, would you like to close? I uh, respectfully ask for your eye vote, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Cooper. And thank you for bringing this uh, bill and these wonderful witnesses to our committee. Your bill makes a lot of sense. And these programs are really working to get older, high-polluting cars off the road and expanding them to areas where, on the verge of falling out of attainment, 
is a great idea, as just demonstrated. Um, I will be enthusiastically in support of your bill today, and I look forward to your success. Madam Secretary, please call. We'll see. Wait a minute. We have we have a motion by Medina. I don't have a second. Um, Dodd, second. Medina's first, Dodd, second. Um, Madam Secretary, please call the roll. The motion is due passed to the Assembly Appropriations Committee. Frazier? Aye. Frazier, aye. Linder? Baker? Bloom? Brown? Aye. Brown, aye. Chu? Aye. Chu, aye. Daly? Aye. Daly, aye. Dodd? Aye. Dodd, aye. Eduardo Garcia? Gomez? Kim? Mathis? Aye. Mathis, aye. Medina? Aye. Medina, aye. Melendez? I'm sorry? Melendez, no. Nazarian? Aye. Nazarian, aye. O'Donnell? Aye. O'Donnell, aye. Your bill has eight. We'll leave the roll open to, uh, for the absent members. Thank, thank you, you very much. And again, thank you so much for your witnesses' testimony. So we are going. Mr. Alejo. Mr. Alejo, you'll be presenting Assembly Bill 2090. Please proceed when you're ready. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, AB 2090 will ensure um, public transportation services remain an integral part of the state's efforts to reduce greenhouse uh, gases from the transportation sector. Specifically, this bill will allow local transit agencies experiencing a fiscal emergency to utilize funds from the Low Carbon Transit Operations Program to maintain existing public transportation services. Under the current law, only transit agencies that are expanding service can access the Low Carbon Transit Operations Program's funds. But this punishes areas like my district that has a transit agency that has, an, uh, has been an early ally in the effort to reduce greenhouse uh, gas emissions. In my district, the Santa Cruz Metropolitan Transit District has been doing the right thing for years. They have been spending every available dollar to maximize bus services. Move the bill. Put now on the street. I'll, I'll condense my comments then and like that. Uh, this bill, again, provides a, a simple solution to allow a transit operator experiencing a fiscal emergency as carefully defined in the bill to apply and for and receive low carbon transit operation program funds to maintain its existing public transportation programs. Uh, we've accepted the committee amendments, Mr. Chairman, and with that, I would respectfully ask for an I vote and have some witnesses to speak in support of the bill. Please proceed and state your name and who you represent, please. Mr. Chair, members, Alex Clifford, CEO and General Manager of Santa Cruz Metropolitan Transit District. I want to thank Assembly Member Alejo for introducing this vital measure. And uh, Mr. Chair, we appreciate your staff's efforts as well as uh, the Vice Chair's staff to work with us on developing the amendment, which strengthens the measure. Uh, you've heard a little bit about our current fiscal challenges. Certainly, if you would like, I can elaborate. Uh, um, but uh, this bill will go a long ways towards uh, helping us. Uh, Metro provides about 5.5 million trips a year in a population of about 270,000. Uh, I will tell you that uh, in 1978, uh, the voters in Santa Cruz County voted for a half cent sales tax measure that is dedicated 100% to transit. Um, and and uh, I would simply emphasize that uh, without AB 2090, um, we estimate that greenhouse gas emissions will actually go up as a result of um, the measures that we're currently having to, to take. Uh, in our community alone, that portion related to the LC top funds that we'd like to use uh, can amount to somewhere between 54 and 62 million metric tons a year. Uh, your support of the bill will help Santa Cruz Metro by giving us a little time to help develop and implement fiscal measures to resolve our structural deficit, and we will be able to maintain more bus transit service and prevent those GHG emission increases. I thank you for your attention today and encourage your support on AB 2090. Next witness, uh, if you agree with the former speaker, please say ditto. Chair Frazier and members, Michael Pimentel with the California Transit Association, we're in strong support of AB 2090 and ask for your I vote. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any other members that you have witnesses for, Mr. Leo? Member of the public, please state your name and who you represent. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members. Moira Top on behalf of the Orange County Transportation Authority in strong support. Thank you. <laughs> Matt Kloppenstein on behalf of the Ventura County Transportation Commission in support. Thank you very much. Any other members of the public that would like to testify in support of the bill? Any members of the public that would like to testify in opposition to the author's bill? Seeing none, 
Any members of the committee that have questions of the author? Mr. Alejo, would you like to close? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I respectfully ask for an I vote, and as they say in Spanish, tan tan. That's how they end it. <laughs> <laughs> I have never said you have not, you don't have flair. You do have flair. Uh, with that, we have a motion by uh, Assemblymember Brown and a second by Assemblymember Mathis. Um, Mr. Alejo, I will be su supporting your bill today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Allowing trans transit agencies to use cap and trade funds to help keep service running makes sense, but we don't want it to be a permanent crutch. Thank you for working with the committee on um, on and to include a three-year cap on the use of the funds. And, and, and just to be clear, that we did have the amendments that are in the bill already. Right. Uh, for that reason, I will be voting for your bill, Madam Secretary. Please uh, call the roll. The motion is due pass to the Assembly Appropriations Committee. Frazier? Aye. Frazier, aye. Linder? Baker? Aye. Baker, aye. Bloom? Brown? Aye. Brown, aye. Chu? Aye. Chu, aye. Daly? Aye. Daly, aye. Dodd? <coughs> Dodd, aye. Eduardo Garcia? Gomez? Kim? Aye. Kim, aye. Mathis? Aye. Mathis, aye. Medina? Medina, aye. Melendez. Aye. Melendez, aye. Nazarian. O'Donnell. Aye. O'Donnell, aye. Nazarian, Nazarian. Thank you very much, members. Nazarian, aye. Nazarian, aye. He's an aye, too. O'Donnell's an aye. Mr. Alejo, that has 12 votes. We'll uh, hold the roll open for absent men members. Congratulations. Mr. Holden. Mr. Holden, you'll be presenting AB 2303. Please proceed when you're ready. Committee, uh, it's a pl Thank you. I'm presenting Assembly Bill 2303 to increase funding for bike infrastructure in California while bringing back one of the best license plates in state history. In 2013, Governor Brown signed legislation creating the Active Transportation Program. Since then, this program has been significantly underfunded. Yet the Active Transportation Program's primary purpose is to increase the use of active modes of transportation by providing safe routes for pedestrian and bicyclists. To generate additional ATP revenues, Assembly Bill 2303 revives the classic 1980s Golden State design as seen on the DeLorean from Back to the Future and voted America's best license plate in 1983. The proceeds from the specialized plate will provide additional funding for the active transportation program. AB 2303 will delight cyclists and classic car fans alike. As no known opposition, I request your I vote. You have witnesses in support, Mr. Holden? Jeannie Wardwaller with the California Bicycle Coalition. We're sponsors of this bill. We really appreciate Assemblymember Holden's efforts to raise money for the ATP, which is, as he said, um, oversubscribed by four or five times every grant cycle. So we appreciate it and ask for your eye vote. Thank you very much. Any other members of the public that would like to testify in uh, support of the author's bill? This is Tony Dang representing California Walks, also in strong support of this bill and all efforts to increase funding to the active transportation program. Thank you. <laughs> Please state your name and who you represent, please. Bill Sadler, Safe Routes to School National Partnership. We are also in strong support of, of this bill. Um, we need more funding for active transportation, and any, we support any effort to raise more revenue for it. Thank you. Next speaker. Chanel Fletcher, Climate Plan and Strong Support. Um, we definitely, as our speaker said before, need more funding for these programs, particularly for getting kids safe walking and um, biking to school. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker. Phoebe Seaton, Leadership Council for Justice and Accountability and Support. Thank you. Sir, next. Rain Hicks, Californians with Disability Rights and Strong Support. Thank you very much. Any members of the public that would like to testify in opposition to the author's bill? Seeing none, any questions of the committee for the author? Mr. Holden, have you agreed to take the amendments um, proposed? Yes. Okay. So we've, we've got that established going forward. 
Um, would you like to close? I respectfully ask for your eye votes. Thank you, Mr. Holden. We do have a first by Mr. Mathis and a second by Mr. Chu. Um, Mr. Holden, I'll be supporting your bill today. Every state's transportation programs need every additional dollar we can find. <laughs> However, allow me to reiterate a concern I have raised in the past. Many of the plates that the legislature creates are not seeing the number of applications needed to go into production. We need to be sure that the plates we create are not having a negative impact on the effectiveness of the program in general. When we keep piling on, we're going to diminish our returns. So I look forward to you advocating and continually to continue to advocate on behalf of this, um, this bill. Madam Great. Secretary, please call the roll. The motion is due pass as amended to the Assembly Appropriations Committee. Frazier? Aye. Frazier, aye. Linder? Baker? Aye. Baker, aye. Bloom? Brown? Aye. Brown, aye. Chu? Aye. Chu, aye. Daly? Aye. Daly, aye. Dodd? Aye. Dodd, aye. Eduardo Garcia? Gomez? Kim? Aye. Kim, aye. Mathis? Aye. Mathis, aye. Medina? Aye. Medina, aye. Melendez? Melendez, aye. Nazarian? Aye. Nazarian, aye. O'Donnell. Aye. O'Donnell, aye. Dude, don't copy me. That has 12. It's, uh, we'll leave the roll open for the absent members. Congratulations, Mr. Holden. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And, and maybe we can get Michael J. Fox to help for, promote the uh, license plate. I'm down if you're down. Okay. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Mr. Manchin. Mr. Manchin, uh, Assembly Bill 2131. Please proceed when you're ready. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman and members. I first want to thank you and the committee staff. Uh, in, in light of the motion and second, I'll just be very brief. AB 2131 will help solve uh, one of the problems uh, we have with hunger uh, and food banks here. Uh, the assistance that food banks provide for that here in California by offering Californians the option of pur purchasing a specialized license plate benefiting food banks in California. Uh, it will go a long way in helping fund these food bank programs that provide invaluable services to those in need. Uh, and I respectfully request, uh, ask for your I vote. You have witness support, Mr. Manchin? I Manchin? do. Please state your name and who you're representing, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair and members. Andrew Shane from the California Association of Food Banks. Uh, very briefly, we represent 43 food banks across the state. Um, and to give you that top line perspective, we have more than 5 million uh, of our neighbors going in need right now of food. And our food bank network is only able to meet some 2 million. So there's a huge gap out there. Um, thank you for your support. Good afternoon and thank you, Mr. Chair and members. My name is Carly Finkel and I represent the Food Bank of Contra Costa and Solano, which serves portions of the Chairs District as well as Assembly Members Baker and Dodd. Uh, the Food Bank of Contra Costa and Solano distributes 20 million pounds of food every year. We serve one in eight people in our communities, uh, including one in four children of the, among those who we serve. Uh, the majority of our nonprofit's budget comes from personal donations, and since the height of the recession, we've seen donations decrease as poverty and hunger fades from the public consciousness, but the number of folks that we have been serving has increased by 74% since the depth of the recession in 2008-2009. More than half the food that we distribute is fresh produce, and anti-hunger license plate sales would help us increase the amount of vegetables, leafy greens, and high-fiber proteins that we're able to purchase to help our clients manage diabetes and other diet-related illnesses. Uh, the Food Bank of Contra Costa and Solana respectfully requests your support for AB 2131. Thank you. Any other members of the public that would like to testify in support of the author's bill? Seeing none, any members of the public that would like to testify in opposition? To the author's bill. Seeing none, members of the committee, any questions of the author? Seeing none, Mr. Manchin, would you like to close? Thank you again, Mr. Chair and members, and I would re respectfully request an I vote. Thank you for that. We do have a first by uh, Assemblymember Mathis and a second by Assemblymember Baker. Thank you for that. Mr. Manchin, I'll, I'm, I'm going to be supporting your bill today. Generating revenue for our state's food banks to help end hunger is a worthy goal, and they do absolutely outstanding work. Um, however, I, I have to reiterate what I've said before. Uh, many plates get created under this program are not getting the required number of applications to go into production. 
I hope we are not diluting the effectiveness of specially placed by continuing to authorize new designs. And I, as I did with Mr. Holden, I, I uh, hope that you advocate uh, on a personal note with this uh, cause to further it uh, being successful. Um, and with that, I'll be happy to support your bill with that. Madam Secretary, please call the roll. The motion is due passed to the Assembly Agriculture Committee. Frazier? Aye. Frazier, aye. Linder? Baker? Aye. Baker, aye. Bloom? Brown? Brown, aye. Chu? Chu, aye. Daly? Aye. Daly, aye. Dodd? Aye. Dodd, aye. Eduardo Garcia? Gomez? Kim? Kim, aye. Mathis? Aye. Mathis, aye. Medina? Aye. Medina, aye. Melendez? Melendez, aye. Nazarian? Aye. Nazarian, aye. O'Donnell? Aye. O'Donnell, aye. Your bill has 12. We'll leave the roll open for the absent members. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thanks.